Hello and welcome back to yet another trove video on the channel. It is Laycom here and today we'll be talking about free range electrolytic crystals as well as the best and the fastest ways of obtaining them. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that this video will mainly be for mid to end game trove players, so some information may stay vague as you're expected to have at the least some base knowledge about the game at this point. With that, let's begin with the video. Let's start off by understanding all of the possible sources of electrolytic crystals. Electro crystals are obtainable via opening up treasure lock delver's caches, up to a possible total of 100 as a rare drop, looting banner poles, and as well as from shadowy soul vault depths in small amounts after opening up the treasurized cache at the boss room. These are what I like to call direct methods of obtaining electrolytic crystals. Other methods of obtaining electrolytic crystals would be through converting pressurized cave kelp for electrolytic crystals at a rate of 999 kelp per 99 crystals. I'll be rounding this up to 10 kelp to 1 electro crystal in order to make it easier to calculate the rates later on. With that knowledge in mind, Let's now take a look at the best methods of farming electrolytic crystals. Well, let me just make it simple for you guys. Direct methods of farming electrolytic crystals are definitely not the most optimal way. Farming for pressurized kelp and converting them into electro crystals are the way to go. Now, what is the best method for obtaining pressurized cave kelp? Well, we have several methods of doing so. Firstly, looting standard banners at a rate of 10 kelp per banner. Secondly, opening treasure lock delver's caches which gives you a shot at obtaining 10 kelp or some standards as you open them. And of course, thirdly, opening up sample books and looting quilts at a rate of 1 quilt per kelp. Now, let's talk about sample book farming with alternate accounts, alright? So, what is sample book farming? Well, sample book farming is simply just farming depths in the Understacks Delve portal. Understack Delve portals can be bought from the marketplace or from the Understack Delve merchants. By completing a delve depth in the Understack biome, you will be able to obtain a number of sample books, which increases based on your delve depth. At depth 100 to 139, you will be obtaining 32 sample books per depth and 140 and above will grant you 64 sample books per depth. Opening each sample book will grant you two quilts of that specific type, and each quilt can be looted for one pressurized cave kelp. Knowing that, we can deduce that each sample book grants you one-fifth of an electrolytic crystal. If your PC is able to open up 8 accounts at one instance, you will be able to obtain 256 sample books per depth, translating to about 50 electrolytic crystals a depth, assuming that you begin in depth 100, that is. Let's now talk about the main question. What will you need for this farming method? Well, to make the farm as efficient as possible, make sure you have a class that has the ability to solo depths 100 to 120, as these will be the most optimal depths for the sample book farming. Sure, depth 140 will grant you 64 sample books per delve depth, but the time taken to solo a delve depth at 140 might take twice the length of time or longer in comparison to a delve depth at 100. Next, you will also need several alternate accounts at level 20 mastery as well as 5000 power rank on those alternate accounts in order to obtain the loot from the delves and to trade them to your main account to open up the boxes. Feel free to check out the video down in the description below in which I show you guys how to level up an alternate account to level 20 mastery within 10 minutes. Power rank will come naturally as you complete the expertise quest, so that shouldn't really be a problem at this point since you are pretty much looking at a guide that is intended for mid to end game players anyways. So let's discuss some questions that the community might have about this method of farming. You guys might have some doubts, so I'm here to answer them. First question, 
Are using multiple accounts during a single instance illegal in Trove? Is this farming method even legal? To give an answer to that, this is a completely legal farming method. Using several accounts at a single instance is allowed as long as you are manually controlling each and every account that you are using. Feel free to check a video in which I clarify this point down in the descriptions below and I even go so far as to contact Gamago staff to verify the validity of that statement. Secondly, how do you even get a portal of depth 100 exactly? The Understack Delve portal will actually open up a depth based on your private depth. Try finding a class that you have that is able to open up a Delve portal close to but not over 100 and increase your private Delve depth with it. In order to increase your private Delve depth, simply use that specific class in public Delves and complete higher depth. Your private Delve depth will increase as you go higher in the public Delves. Third question, what if, you know, I don't really have alternate accounts, so what do I do? Well, sad to say, this method is not as overpowered without alternate accounts as it is with alternate accounts. You may try some slower alternative methods such as buying sample books from the marketplace. However, this may prove very, very pricey at this point as each sample book is usually going to be priced at about 200 flux each. Now, let's take a look at some sample results that I managed to obtain using this farming method. I found the Understax Delve portal at a depth of 100 to 120 in an hour with 7 accounts and one other person as a runner. The results will be shown on your screen right here. As you can see, I obtained a total of 4,680 sample books in that hour, which will come up to a total of 9,360 pressurized cave kelps, converting straight into around 936 electrolytic crystals per hour. This does not include the amount obtained via Shadowy Soul Vault depths, nor does it take the pressurized chest amount of electrolytic crystals into account. Therefore, it is pretty much safe to say that you'd be able to obtain a thousand electrolytic crystals an hour with this method of farming, not to mention the additional possibility of dropping a rare mount from those Shadow Tower bosses at Vault Depths. Also, if you might think that a thousand electrolytic crystals are just not enough an hour, as mentioned earlier, the prices of sample books in the market is currently about 200 flux each, at this point in time. Let's multiply our 4680 sample books with 200 and we'll be able to see that I managed to make around 936,000 flux worth of sample books at the bare minimum which pretty much closes into about a million flux an hour if somehow I decide to sell these sample books. So yeah, there we have it. The undisputed quickest method for farming electrolytic crystals is by farming sample books with alternate accounts in the Understack Delves. You could also make use of the flooring catalog tomb to obtain some additional pressurized cave kelps, but I believe using the cinnabar tome, selling the cinnabar, and buying sample books are still a better choice based on the current market rates. With that, I hope I managed to give you guys a couple of farming tips for electrolytic crystals, so make sure you leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel if the guide helped. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you actually have any questions regarding this farming method, and I'll be trying my best to answer each and every one of your questions and comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next couple of videos. As usual guys, peace out.